All right, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Very Really Good Podcast. This is episode 92. Fuck, man. Uh, I hope we're doing well. Hope you guys are um, staying safe. You know, hope you guys are, you know, taking care of each other, washing your hands, distancing yourself socially and physically. Um, yeah, it's more physical distancing, right? I feel like social distancing, it's like, hey, you can't talk to anybody. Can't talk, can't look at them, can't even text them. Don't stay inside, don't talk to anybody, and then you'll be fine. Except you won't because you'll fucking go insane. Um, what if, yeah, what if the virus, what if the, dude, what if the fucking prime minister of Canada, all like the, the, you know, the president of science on earth was like, because that's a real job. He came out and he was like, guys, we found out the virus can be spread through text messaging. Um, so you gotta, you literally have to social distance now. You can't talk to anybody. Sorry. Um, the only thing, the only modes of means of communication that it doesn't spread is through msn but that doesn't exist anymore so sorry guys and everyone's like no microsoft why'd you do it why'd you do that why'd you end msn you know why'd you msn it how dare you yo msn bro that was fucking blast from the past huh msn bro msn i'm just i'm messing MSN, MSN. It sounds like some if you say like a guy with a weird accent saying I'm, I'm messing, I'm just messing with you. I'm messing. Okay, holy shit. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, I like to promote shows off the top, you know, of podcasts, the beginning of podcasts. I like to promote the shows I got coming up, but don't have any really. Um, I'm probably gonna have to fucking postpone my show in Boston at the the Wilbur, so that's fucking cool, but it's all good. Um, man, I miss fucking doing stand up, man. I love being home. Don't get me wrong. Love it. Love being home, having time to work on stuff, spending more time with Jenna and Kiwi and stuff. It's nice. I can have a routine going. It's great. But you know, I miss doing fucking shows. Dude, I love stand up. I love doing it so much. And it's it, I'm gonna be very rusty by the time this is done, dude. I'm gonna get up on stage and go. So can you fart so hard, your Balls explode. If you haven't seen my new video, that makes no sense, but um Yeah, fucking posted a video on Friday, last Friday. Um and I was it took a fucking I spent a lot of fucking time on it. Oh my god. Um because what else am I gonna do, right? Um but it turned out really well, dude. I liked I like it a lot and uh, I was stoked on it. Um, people seem pretty hyped on it. Um, I've wanted to make, I made a video about the TV show Mansers and I, dude, I said this in a video, but I used to watch it all the fucking time and I thought everyone else did, you know, because, you know, you only live your own life and you think everyone else has the same life because how do you compare it to anything else? Cause that's all you know. Right. So I was like, Oh, everyone watched it all the time. Cause I, I did that. Um, so when I saw comments being like, what is this show? I never even heard of it. I was like, what? How do you, how have you not heard of Mansers, bro? Um, but it, I've wanted to make a video about that for so long. Um, and I had fun. It was fun. I liked it. Um, I do this thing where when I'm scripting, I have these ideas for like sketches. Um, with my green screen. Cause I love my, I love my green screen. Um, so much, but, I have these ideas. I'm like, oh, that'll be bad. It's probably going to be, you know, it's like, it, I don't even think about like how it's going to go or like the filming or editing. I'm like, that's going to be funny. I should do it. And then I go to edit it. No, then I go to film it. I'm like, fuck, this is going to take a while. And then I sit down and edit. I'm like, fuck, this is really going to take a while. But it worked out, dude. Um, Man, yeah, but there, uh, dude, I've been trying to fucking not respond to negative stuff recently i've been really trying to like just see it as like when people say like sh- stuff <laughs> negative stuff i try to take it as like a learning thing to like you know be mature but dude it's tough dude because someone commented sent, sent me a tweet and said that they don't like my 
sketches because it goes on for too long and I miss the point and I don't have and they have no sense of humor. Um, so that obviously makes me mad, but you know, everyone has a different opinion, different sense of humor. So that's fine. I guess it's fine. I guess, but whatever, dude, you can, you can have your opinion and that's fine. I'll just cry about it later. No, it's fine, dude. I don't care. I don't care, dude. Don't care. Is this bright enough? I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> oh, fucking didn't do anything today, really. Oh, my God. Um, But I'm doing this now, so it's good. I was like, whenever I have... I feel like whenever I have days where I don't do things, it's like fucking... I feel like shit, but like that's a, I'm allowed to do that, right? We're allowed to have days where we don't do anything. Um... I don't know. Is that allowed? Who knows, dude? But I'm doing this now, so it's fine. So I can get some sleep. <laughs> uh, dude, I did my fucking first Twitch stream today. That was fun. Um, I Hold on. I'm going to make this a little bright. Actually, no. Fuck it. It'll make this brighter. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I did my first Twitch stream. Twitch.tv slash Kurtz Connor. Yeah, I got the handle. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good, dude. I got the handle on the handle, bro. Handle bars. I got... I got I got bars about my hand. Okay. I got it though. Twitch TV slash Curtis Connor. Um, Twitch dot TV. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it was fun, man. I wanted to play Animal Crossing, but uh, can't hook up my fucking switch to my monitor here that I bought uh, because I need an adapter. And hey, why? Why though? Why do you do that to me? You know? Just have Just have stuff work. Okay, that's a shit like, oh, you need a, a, you need a fucking ZPQ adapter for a lot to work. What? Huh? What is that? Why'd you make it? Just make one plug for everything. And I know plugs are different because they send different uh, signals to stuff, you know. But make it easy, you know. It's like the asshole that made different, uh, made a fucking Phillips head screwdriver, you know? Fucking Phillips screwdriver, that guy. His, you know, first name Phillip, last name screwdriver. He's like, well, yeah, we need a different one. I know the square has been working really well, but I think the dime, the little crisscross one is good. And I'm Phillips, so I'm going to call it Phillips head. Fucking asshole, dude. Just to make things fucking easier. Oh, you need a Phillips head for that. Ah, make one. Make one for everything. Yeah, you need a, a WAT adapter to plug into your PS9 uh, port. I'm like, what? I'm not trying to play PS9. And they're like, and they grab me by the collar. They're like, shut up. Yes, you are. I'm like, no, I'm not. And they're like, yeah, you're going to play PS9 and you're going to like it. And they spit in my eye. And I go, ah, oh, no, why'd you do that? And they're like, oh, fuck you. And they pants me. And I'm not wearing any underwear. And they're like, what the fuck? Why aren't you wearing any, any underwear? And they're like, yeah. and then I was like, and then I said, you you took that underwear. You said you needed it for an adapter. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're right. The underwear adapter for your PS10. I'm like, no, where are you getting these PS10s? <clears throat> um, fuck, man. How's the quarantine going, huh? Losing my mind here, dude. M losing my fucking marbles. Yeah, he lost them good. That's from Hook, the movie. Uh, the amount of times I've quoted Hook on this podcast is probably too many. Um, but it's the best movie. It's the best Peter Pan movie of all time. You got Robin Williams. There you go. Um, I'm drinking a alcoholic root beer. I'm turning up. The beer for man-childs. Man-children. When you want that sweet taste of root beer, but you want to feel funny like an adult, alcoholic root beer. It's pretty good. I like it. Uh, it's pretty old. Dude, my... Hey, stop texting me, dude. I'm so popular, man. Um, It's the president. <laughs> He's texting me again. And then, Curtis, we need your help. Only you can only you can save this 
pandemic. Only you can stop it. And I'm like, no, that's not true. Leave me alone. I'm doing my podcast, you know? Uh, What was I fucking talking about, dude? Oh, yeah. Uh, My mom is moving. And God bless her. But she... She doesn't throw away a lot of stuff, okay? And I... And I'm not... And that's not a read, okay? I inherited that from her, okay? I attach a lot of sentimental value to inanimate objects um that you know i don't need to keep right it's like oh it's a i have a fucking a movie ticket to fucking (laughs) to fucking scary movie four and i'm like well that was like a it's a memory you know it's a memory that i went to the movies as a scary movie four it's like why do you need to keep that curtis why what are you gonna do with that you're going to look back, you're going to look at a fucking scary movie four ticket longingly and be like, ah, those were, those were the days I had a great time going to that theater and watching that movie in particular. Stupid, man. But, uh, my mom had a bunch of food that she was getting rid of food and drinks. And I took one of these and I have a feeling it expired, but you know what? We're fucking going for it. Root beer doesn't expire, dude. It's the root of all beer. It can't expire, you know? What is the root of beer? <laughs> the square root beer. The square root of beer. Uh Oh, fucking soda pop math? Hell yeah, dude. Math gotta be about soda pop, then I'll pay attention, all right? Give me a can of Coke and go solve for... Solve it. And I go, okay, chug a lug. A plus, bitch. <laughs> It is math class, but it's soda pop drinking class. You know, I would say pop, but a lot of my, most of my viewers are Americans. And they say soda, like little weirdos. Soda, dude. So dumb. I made that joke so many times, but it's all good. Um, fuck, man. Oh, dude, we should talk about this. Um, oh, okay, never mind. Not yet. Um, yo, my fucking hair, though, dude. You like really? Um, dude, uh, I filmed a collab. I did a collab video with James, James Marriott, um, who is a he's he's over across the pond commentary YouTuber. He's very funny. Um, but yeah, he he's doing these like quarantine collabs. And um, he asked me to do it, and I said yes, and we're doing it, and we did it, and it was really fun. I'm excited for the video to come out. He said he's uh, he's putting it out on Tuesday, so it might be out the same day that this is out. So that'd be cool because it is Saturday right now. Um, just a little, just to fill you in on like where I'm at vibe wise. <laughs> um, it's it's all Saturday vibes here, dude. Um, oh, what's the vi- it will vibe watch? You wear it on your wrist to like check the vibe. Like, oh, what's up? Oh, okay. It's, it's good. Good time. You're at a fucking house party. You're like, oh, hell yeah. These vibes are off the charts, dude. And then you're like, if I end tension, right? And then the vibes are bad. The tension vibes are not good. And I think we'd all agree on that. Uh, <clears throat> fuck, man. Oh, hey, dude. Okay. I got a comment on my last podcast saying that I put the the mic too close. Dude, I'm going to read it. Verbatim, dude. Verbatim, I hardly know him. Fuck yeah. Rock and roll. Okay, I'm finding the comment, dude. It was on the most recent podcast. Okay, I'm fine. I'm trying to find it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I hate the sound your mouth makes when you say words. <laughs> so the whole thing. And smacks. Makes me so sick. Your videos don't do that, and it honestly takes me right out. I've been a fan since 100K, and since these didn't have 5,000 views, please move your mic away. And then I said, sorry I got a juicy mouth. I was born this way. You know, just being a cock. And then... Okay, well now I'm fucking, I now feel bad. Matt, sorry for calling you out. Sorry for making my gross mouth noises. They're juicy, but... 
<laughs> gross it's an asmr podcast dude uh it's more of a problem than anything food sounds and mouth sounds gross me out but i'll support no matter what know it or not you help me get sober and normal again matt matt orchin shout out to you dude i'm sorry i make weird gross uh, mouth noises um and you're fucking sober dude fuck yeah dude congrats that's sick Sober, I hardly know her. Okay, let's move on. But no, good job, Matt. That's that's fucking tight, dude. Um, oh, what was I? Oh, dude, some fucking tea, I guess. Some fucking TikTok drama shit. Uh, found out that um, I don't want to fucking. It was like oh fuck the fucking tea spill, fucking pod, but spilling tea all over my fucking crotch, dude. Oh, this tea. I got tea crotch. I got a fucking chamomile crotch, bro. <laughs> Dude, I got a I got a straight up chamomile crotch because I spilled so much fucking piping hot tea down there, dude. No. Chamomile fucking crotch, dude. I got a chai fucking lap. <laughs> I got a chai lap. Um Oh, okay, yeah. So the 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 tea is uh. So I'm the this fucking um the dude. I made the TikTok mafia video a while back, um, and the dude who plays uh who pretends to be the mafia boss. His name is Clap Daddy. Um, apparently he's like a fucking pedophile, dude. Um. Some person tagged me in this person's TikTok who uh, who did like an expose of them, I guess, right? And that they were like messaging underage people, um, being really weird and shit. Oh, man. And it's like, no shit, you know? No shit. The guy who dresses up and pretends to be a mafia boss and calls himself Clap Daddy is a weirdo? Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, I could have told you that. No, not a big fucking surprise that the guy's a weirdo, dude. And then he made some fucking apology that was like, "I'm, this is ruining my, this. How dare they? This, I, I'm sorry if I hurt anyone, but how dare you? <laughs> how dare you call me a pedophile? All I do is talk to underage kids in a weird way, because I'm clap daddy, and I want to, I want to make them, I want to talk to these clap children, weirdo, dude." Ugh. Like just being ugh. And it was like some What else that other guy Other guy that dresses up like a fucking monster on TikTok I don't know what his fucking name is But he dressed up as like a monster And that's that's, that's it they, The video was about them too How saying that they are re- acting really weird towards people And it's like dude you're a <sighs> fucking people man (laughs) I just don't like if you're it's just so weird man it's so fucking weird and gross you know how many people your own age there are dude hey clap daddy you can find a clap mommy clap clap woman okay or I don't know they're messaging boys so maybe they're I don't know what they're fucking you know doesn't matter dude they're talking to kids weird as fuck clap daddy hope you get the i was gonna say the cl- the clap but that's chlamydia i for a second i thought the clap was jail but then i was gonna say that's not right and then i was gonna say a clap on the wrist but a, like a slap on the wrist but that means they don't go to prison clap daddy you should you should go to jail. That is that is bad. Just like a mob. That'd be fuck, real life mafia shit, dude. If you go to jail, dude. Yeah, that'd be cool. You should fulfill the mafia fan the the mafia uh, storyline. It ends with you going to jail. Um, for being a weirdo, dude. Fuck, man weird guys and <laughs> fucking so many weird dudes on the internet look out people be careful 
Oh, uh, fuck, man. What, I, what else did I want to talk about? I wrote some shit down in my notes. So I'm going to pull that up. Um, pull it up. Oh, I wanted to talk about this. Uh, okay, so Halloween, right? This is a bit that I thought of in the shower because I feel like I get a mo- most of my bits in the shower. Um, so you know when you're taking a shower? <laughs> Just all my bits are about showers. Um, no, just kidding. I don't fucking shower. Uh, I'm kidding. I do. Uh, actually, well, yeah, I do. I do. It's because I'm showering a lot less frequent now because I don't have to fucking do anything. Um, but no, I thought of this bit in the shower. Um, it's not really a bit. It's just a fucking a, a fucking weird thing. Um, so like the Halloween, right? Let's find out. Okay, Halloween. How did it start? Okay, let's find that out first. Uh, well, we're going to search how did Halloween start? Uh, how it all started. Okay. Halloween began as a festival of Semain. It was part of the ancient Celtic religion. Okay. At the end of summer, the Celts thought the barrier between our world and the world of ghosts and spirits got really thin. Um, so it was, they had a big party scaring away the ghosts. Okay, cool. So it got to America and people were like, candy. Okay, cool. We got it. So people started dressing up in costumes and shit. Um, but how did the, the, the first ghost costume come to be? Right? Like the classic ghost costume. Like, they, the, of they just put a sheet over them and it was like, I'm a ghost. Have you ever, like, in, like, ghosts, I think they're just, they just look like humans, but, like, they're see-through, right? And they're, like, maybe got a bluish tint. I don't know. But they're see-through people, all right? Transparent people. It's not just a sheet, Right? Like when people say, "Oh, I saw a ghost," they're like, "Oh, I saw a sheet. I saw some linen floating over there." No, dude. So, like, I guess I'm thinking, like, the first person to ever dress up as a ghost, they maybe they like didn't. They were like last minute. They're like, they come home. They're like, "Mom, I need a costume. What are we gonna be? What am I gonna be?" And she's like, "I don't, I don't know. I got a sheet here," and she just threw it on her son. And he was like, "Ah, what the fuck?" And she's like, "Hold still. I'll cut some eyes." And then he's like, what What am I? And she's like, I, I don't know. You're scary. <laughs> and he's like, oh, like a ghost. And she's like, yeah. Yeah, you're a ghost. This is what ghosts look like. And he was like, oh, okay, mom, if you say so, I'm gonna go trick or treat now, bye. And then he walked out the door to meet his friends and his friends were like, what the fuck are you, what are you, what are you wearing? I'm a, I'm Frankenstein. This guy's fucking. Uh, he's like he's a wolf. That's a mummy. What are you? A guy? You're a, a boy with a sheet on his head. And he goes, "No, nah, dude, I'm a ghost. I'm a little ghost boy. I'm a little ghost boy. Spooky, spooky, woo." And they go, "Ah, oh. oh, I guess you are a ghost. Come on." And then, dude, every <laughs> every house he goes to, he goes trick or treat. And and e- dude, every house he has to explain it. <laughs> Every house is like, oh, well, looky, oh, what are you? He's like, I'm a fucking ghost. Oh my god. Comes back home all pissed. Mom, no one knew what I was. I was like, that's their fault, son. You're a ghost. Cause you're dead. You've been dead this whole time. <gasps> Twist. And shout. Do the mashed potato. Okay, dude. That is kind of funny though. It's just so weird to think about how, like, how the first person to ever do that probably had to explain it so much to every person they saw. Yeah, yeah it's ghost. I'm a ghost. Because how else would you be a ghost, right? You'd have to actually be a ghost to dress up as a ghost. And that's the fucking realest thing I've ever I've ever said, and I ever will say. Um, dude, how uh, I had some fucking cute ass costumes when I was a kid my first Halloween costume I was a pumpkin hilarious so cute I wish I had the photo still I was a little pumpkin I and I and I had a mouthful of seeds all night S- seeds and pumpkin flesh and I would go trick or treat I'm full of pumpkin I'm a real pumpkin boy 
and I'd have a candle. I'd swallow a candle that's lit, and, it, and the light would kind of fly through me. Like Jack-o'-lantern. Uh, what else was I? Dude, one one hell one Christmas. One Christmas, I was a ghost. <laughs> Uh, one Halloween, I, I was a red Power Ranger, um, uh, out of cost, out of power, I was the, <laughs> I just dressed up as Tommy, that's the red Power Ranger, right, Tommy, I dressed up as him, I was just a guy in like a, a shirt, and they're like, who are you, I'm like, I'm the red Power Ranger, off duty, that's a really, that's actually a really funny Halloween costume, being a, a power a mighty morphin power ranger just as when they're not in uniform <laughs> not uniform when they're not fucking morphed right they're just right my mighty morphin power ranger i hardly know her um so stupid but yeah i was a red power ranger i went trick-or-treating by my grammy and grand my, my grandparents house my grammy and grandpa that's what i call them um and i was walking with my mom and this fucking kid who was like, I don't know. To me, when I was a kid, he seemed like he was 48, but he was probably like 13 because um, I was so young. But I was walking, and he jumped out of a bush. He was wearing this scary mask, and he scared me and my mom, and I fucking screamed, and I cried like so hard. And then he like, apparently, I don't remember this, but he immediately apologized. He was like, sorry, I didn't know there was a kid here. My mom fucking freaked out on him. He was like, how fucking dare you? This is my son. He's a baby. He fucking knows crying. Um, but I turned out all right. It didn't scar me or anything. Dude, there's always one... I feel like there's one thing that kind of fucks with you forever, right? Like, there's... For me, it was the the movie 13 Ghosts. Have you guys fucking seen that movie, 13 Ghosts, dude? Oh, my God. That movie is fucking terrifying. I don't know if it is because I haven't seen it in a long time. But it's a movie where... It's a glass house that they, like, inherit or some shit and it's a, a fully glass house and there's 13 ghosts in it and they're all different and they're all fucked up and it's just a family like dying one by one and they gotta like try to kill them all and shit it's insane and the only way they can, this actually sounds fucking nuts but the only way they can see these ghosts is if they wear these special types of glasses that are like in the house for some reason um but dude watch that movie it's so fucking scary there's this naked girl covered in blood terrifying that fucked with me so for like years because i saw it when i was like seven or something like when did it come out i'm gonna fucking i need to like face my fears one day and watch 13 ghosts to the 2001 dude like look at these fucking ghosts dude okay they don't look so scary now Yeah, there was a girl who like had a cage over her head and she had really sharp nails. There was where's that naked girl? Yeah, it's so fucking scary, dude. Uh Yeah, that shit fuck with me so hard, dude. I like there was one scene where like she turns the bath on. She runs the bath to like take a bath. And, and then she's in the naked ghost is in the bath and she doesn't know and she gets in the bath with, oh fuck that dude fuck that scare me so hard also why do we say run a bath can I talk about that yeah I'll run the bath you're running the water to fill up the bath yeah I'll run the bath he just picks it up runs away <laughs> go for a run When you run the bath, yeah, right, that's like filling something, like, like if you ordered a beer at a bar, you wouldn't say, yeah, can you run the beer? And they're like, here you go. And they pour it into a thing. No, you, they wouldn't do that, would they? Would they? That'd be cool. I would like that. And they serve you a beer in a little bathtub and you drink it. I don't know why. Okay. Um... Let's see what else we want to fucking talk about, dude. But yeah, watch 13 Ghosts. That shit will fucking scare the bejeebers out of you, dude. Uh Oh, yeah, let's watch... Or... Okay, we'll... 
Okay, well, yeah. I want to watch the new Dobre Brothers song with you guys. Because it's really good. Um... Did they delete it? Oh no, they didn't. Okay. Um So a while ago I made a, a video about Dolby Brothers and the song You Know You Know You Lit. Hit it like you don't care. Hit it like you know you lit. Um it's very bad, obviously, because it's the Dolby Brothers making fucking music, dude. Um but they They've released like three versions of this song because they don't have any more songs to do. So like, yeah, let's do the same one, I guess. Um, so they did this new one with Lil Pump, the rapper Lil Pump, fucking a pretty famous. Well, not so much now, but he was a probably one of the most. He has a song with fucking Kanye West, dude. And now he's a song with Dobre Brothers, bro. Like that's a fucking step down, my guy. You went from you went down you went from Kanye. Well, fuck Kanye. I don't like Kanye, but he's very famous. You went from him down to fucking Dobre Brothers, dude. Fuck, man. The okay, so fuck it, let's go. What can this deck of cards teach us about lottery odds? Shut up. Add okay. Nice. Masking was not very good on that either. We back again, hitting it again. Oh, yeah. Get up on your feet and bring a friend. I'm getting carried away with the band. Oh, yeah. You can't be trusted, I won't shake your hand. I feel like the Mets, so I hit it. I'm the best, so she never will quit it. <sighs> Dude, there's just no character or like. You know what I mean? There's like, hey man, look it up at the peeling, sucking on him and kneeling. Thank you, boys. Uh, just like so shy, it seems like. Like, they just don't want to, like, actually rap what they're saying, right? Look at all these baguettes. I'm eating them really soon. Because I'm pretty hungry. Leave me alone. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Dude, like, what are you fucking talking about? It ain't nothing. We count up in digits. See the switch. Pull up with no ceiling. Hit it if you know you lit. Yeah, I know I'm lit. Oh no! Yeah, I know I'm lit. God damn, these guys are so weird, bro. Like, what kind of? I would love to just spend a day with them to see what they do. I'd lose my fucking mind. They live in such a different world than all of us. Like, they think this is sick, right? And it probably is to like the ten-year-olds who like them. But to everyone else, it's just like, this is the most clown worthy shit, dude. Hit it if you know you lit. Dude, just so insecure. Just please hit it if you know you lit. Are you? Tell me. Stop the song. Are you lit? Tell me, are you lit? Because then you can hit it. I don't know, though. I just like, can you guys stop looking at me? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you know you lit. Hit it if you know you lit. Yeah, I know I'm lit. Hit it if you know you lit. Yeah, you know you lit. Just time, these diamonds shine. Shot it, bring it back, yeah, bust it on the back, yeah, riding this wave like a shock, I'm attack, yeah. Oh my god, dude, like. <laughs> it's so. I just can't imagine what goes through their head all the time like oh i'm getting fucking bummed out man and then they're like hey lil pump do you want to be in this video and he was like yeah <laughs> i guess <laughs> oh yeah sure you guys gotta pay me a fucking bunch of money though and they're like yeah it's all good we have that for some reason because kids because you little little tiny kids uh 
well, like, uh, they like our stuff. So maybe you'll get some fans from us, you know, some little tiny fans who can listen to your songs about uh, cocaine and lean and, you know, fucking bitches and stuff. That'd be like really good for you and the kids. And he was like, all right, bet. I'll be there, dude. It's like, well, do you need to know? No, I'll just write on the way because I don't give a fuck about this. And they're like, okay. Yeah, you know you lit. Hit it if you know you lit. Yeah. Yeah, I know I'm lit. Hit it if you know you lit. Dude, that like choirs. That, it sounds like a, a bunch of little kids saying like, yeah, I know I'm lit. <laughs> oh, God, it's so... Oh, okay, I think Lil Pump's verse is coming up. Cause you know I'm lit Got two bust downs on my wrist Ooh. No I can't wipe no chick no. Lil Pump never spent his money on a bitch <laughs> I saw, I saw, ice, ice. Oh. Okay for a sec I was like oh he said chick Cause he can't say bitch But eh, there you go They had to censor it Oh dude and this guy looks so happy He's like yeah we got fucking Lil Pump dude <laughs> Check it Do you fucking seeing this shit dude <laughs> That's what he looks like right now dude He's like yo you seeing this shit It's fucking Lil Pump Off white on off white Kill Geeked up all night. Ooh, gotta keep my nine. Balenciaga, Louis. Ooh, you know my life is a movie. Yeah. Right. My name look just like jacuzzi. Yeah, dude, your life is a fucking movie. You're playing ping pong at the Dobre Brothers' house, dude. I don't want to watch that movie. Gucci on Gucci on Gucci. Gucci. Lil Pump Jet Ski. Ooh, huh? Hop not belly. Ooh, ooh. My wrist too heavy. Ooh, got a Lamborghini. I ain't got no Chevy. Yeah. Okay, well that was it. Comments are turned off. Of course they are, dude. Cause why the fuck would you have them on? Cause everyone's gonna clown you just so hard. Oh, fucking Cody made a video, but I didn't even know that. Uh, excuse me. Fuck, man, they're so weird, dude. I just like. I can't believe Lil Pump. Oh, yes, I can. They're on the No Jumper podcast, too. Wow. They're doing really cool things, huh? Oh, man. I just like... I. I really like to think that they're just doing a bit. Like, their whole thing is just a bit. That would be actually like really funny. They're either the funniest people in the world or the worst people in the world. If it's all a bit, hilarious. If not, uh <laughs> And I don't think it's a bit. There's no way. Not even a bit. Ahaha. Um fuck, man. What should we talk about, huh? We're at 38 something. I appreciate all the fucking uh positive fucking feedback I'm getting on the podcast lately. Um on the channel and Twitter and Instagram and stuff. It means the world that you guys are watching this and listening to it and enjoying enjoying. The enjoying. How to be enjoying it. Yes, uh I do enjoying. <laughs> um yeah, that's fucking cool. You guys got good taste. Or bad taste who knows not me not me at all um should we watch some fucking we'll do a shit we'll do a shitty tiktok of the week shitty tiktok of the week da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 it's a working title working okay here we go dude it's so funny dude okay okay so this this guy he's in to those who are listening he's in uh, he's uh, he's wearing white pants, a white hoodie. He's got the fucking TikTok hair, a white phone case, and the the caption on the video. It's reasons why I'm a bad boyfriend. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this already, but here we go. Wait, wait, wait. please stop scrolling. Here's some reasons why I'm a bad boyfriend. He's a number one. Um, my lips are kind of too big, <laughs> so um, you might drown when I kiss you. Okay, let's go through this. Okay, no, we'll watch it. In full, and then we'll break it down. Reason number two, my skin's not perfect either. Uh, one can only wish. <laughs> reason number three, I have these annoying smile lines. Like, what the heck? And reason number four is because I wasn't good enough for you to follow me. Well, those are some reasons why I'm a bad boyfriend. 
dude. Delete it, dude. Delete your fo- throw your phone in the garbage, bro, and then and then do the same, and then go. Oh, that looks like a good place for me to be. And you dive after your phone into the fucking garbage heap, bro. What did you just make? Okay, let's go through it. Let's go through it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. please stop scrolling. Here's some reasons why I'm a bad boyfriend. He's a number one. <laughs> He's a number. The little laugh he does at the beginning. <laughs> He's a number one. <laughs> He's a number one. <laughs> it's like maniac laughing. Um, my lips are kind of too big, so um, you might drown when I kiss you. My lips are kind of too big, so you might drown when I kiss you. Oh God. I'm a bad boyfriend because my lips are too big. When I kiss you, you're going to die because you're drowning in lips. Is Yeah, that doesn't make sense. How are you going to drown? You drown in water. Are you spitting and drooling so much into her mouth that she fucking gargles and dies? Because that's gross, dude. Yeah, you are a bad boyfriend if you kill your girlfriend because you drown them with your spit. Yeah, dude. You spitboarding them. Like waterboard, but with fucking saliva. Saliva. Okay, so. Fuck, now now what? Reason number two. My skin's not perfect either. Uh, one can only wish. <laughs> Reason number three. I have- skin's not perfect either. Bucko's got one zit. Bucko's got one zit on his cheek and is like, reasons why I'm a shitty boyfriend. I get a, I get one zit sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I'm an ugly piece of fucking trash. Or am, am I right? <laughs> Please compliment me. Please. Just fucking say I'm hot. Please comment say I'm hot. I need this. So bad. You can tell by how white my sweater is. <laughs> Fuck, man. Now, what else? <laughs> Reason number three. Yeah. <laughs> Reason number three. <laughs> Reason number three. <laughs> Dude, I have these annoying smile lines. Like, what the heck? I have these annoying smile lines. Like, what the heck? Ah. Reason number four. I have this huge fucking dick. <laughs> My dick too fat. Sorry. Reasons why I'm a bad boyfriend. My smile is too cute. My dick too big. <laughs> and I'm a fucking way too nice of a guy. Dude. Who is this guy? Who is this fucking guy? It's Troy. Dude, of course your name is Troy. <laughs> of Dude, there's no way a guy named like Nigel would do this, right? He's off like reading a book or something. But Troy, the parents fucked him on that. They're like, yeah, we'll name him Troy. And like he was a regular baby. He was like, meh, meh, meh. And then they're like, okay, your name is Troy. And then immediately the baby stopped crying. I was like, aha, 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 babe. <laughs> a, fuck bo- a fuck baby? Gross. I meant like fuck boy baby, but then I said fuck baby. And then it, I felt weird about that. One of my fucking clap daddy. Okay. Um, gross. Because <laughs> he's a pedophile, you know? Um... And then the last reason why he's a bad boyfriend. And reason number four is because I wasn't good enough for you to follow me. Because he wasn't good enough for me to follow him. And bro, you're right. Not following you, okay? (laughs) Oh, God. Dude really posted that. He recorded it. He planned it, recorded it, posted it, and was like, yep. Time to fucking go to bed now, I guess. Like, dude, wow. What a life. What a life these some of these people live, man. I'm fascinated by it all the time. Um, what are we at? Forty something? Okay, cool. I'll probably end it there. Um, thanks for sticking around. If you did, um, yeah. If you enjoyed the podcast, if you enjoyed you know hanging out with me for a little bit, talking shit, like the video, comment, subscribe. You know, rate and review the pod if you're listening. You know, put on your story. You know, I see that shit and I respect it and I like it. Thank you. I appreciate it is what I meant to say. I respect it. Yeah, I respect that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. And um, yeah, man. 
Uh, look at check out my fucking Twitch. I guess I'm starting to stream on there sometimes. And um, yeah, just fucking take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Wash your hands. Distance, social distance. You know, don't talk to anybody. Don't look at anybody. Only MSN message them. Message, message them. Um. Uh. So yeah, that's it. Thank you. That was very, really good. Episode ninety-two. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye.